Good kitten internet. This is what happens when I allow a cat to be in the bathroom with me. I did not put him here. Just saying. Also, his claws are super sharp, so... Just in case if you were ever curious about what it looks like in the opposite direction on my phone. Good kitten internet. <sighs> oh, right. I should turn those off. Hold on. That's a little better, I think. And take off my glasses because you can see the reflection from the ring light in them. Boop, 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 boop. Anyway, um, I'm doing better today. Uh, strangely enough, the thing I'm doing better about is to do with what happened a couple of days ago. Uh, oh, right, I should grab that. It has to do with this. This is a pair of long underwear. Uh, specifically, this is a 100% silk pair of long underwear from L.L. Bean. And... <clears throat> One of the articles of clothing that Zone hit when he decided to use a drawer as a litter box. But I'm touching it with my hands. I actually got rid of the urine smell from it. And I'm very happy about it because, one, this is, again, 100% silk. It's very thin, but not exactly something cheap. So I felt really bad about the fact that Zone had ruined it, but apparently not. And two, that means that I have finally finally found a way to get the smell of cat urine out of clothes or textiles. Um, we'll need to see if this works for other type of textiles, um, but I used a product called Soak. It's meant for cleaning hand wash only items like um, hand knit things and so on. Um, and it's basically one of those, you put it into a large vat of water, you put a little bit of soak in, let it soak for 15 minutes, then take it out, wring out whatever you're trying to do, and let it dry flat. This was directly hit by zone. So the fact that I can no longer detect any whiff of urine is amazing to me because I have a stupid sensitive nose. And usually when you cover up smells for me, like what other, like Febreze is the most infamous example of this. Um, when somebody sprays Febreze around a room, I now smell the Febreze on top of whatever they were trying to cut up. Cut up? Cover up. So, ugh, I hate that. And there is, I had mentioned in a, that video that was not the previous vlog, but the one, the, the mega vlog, the one that was nine vlogs. Vita crammed together in a trench coat, um, that Zone used to have this happen. So what was happening then is that he would pee inside of a laundry basket that would be down in my laundry room. And I wouldn't know about it because it was, oh, these are things that I need to go wash. So the next time I'm down there, I'll go throw things in the wash. And all of a sudden, everything in the wash now smells of cat urine. Um... So I have two heaping laundry baskets full of, or on top of that, my house cleaners tended to just throw things into those laundry baskets, which means it would contaminate even more clothing. So I have two heapingly large laundry baskets full of at least lightly contaminated clothing that I want to try. And one of the things that Soak has as an alternate use is that you can actually use it in a high efficiency water, uh, washing machine, according to the label. So I'm going to try that next with some sacrificial items, shall we say, where I'm not too concerned if it doesn't work. And I might finally be able to get my good set of sheets back. Um, I think I've had in other vlogs, like the neon green sheets that are in my partner's bedroom slash my office. I have a purple set of sheets for this bed over here that go along with it. They feel extremely nice. It's um, bamboo. And it's really nice for summer, in speci specifically, because it doesn't retain a huge amount of heat. Which, for me, is extremely nice, because I am a living space heater. So, if I can get those to no longer smell, I will consider this a victory. And then I can start working through the backlog of other things that smell. And maybe even find some missing things that way. So, we'll see. 
Otherwise, uh, it's a pretty rainy day. It's actually raining outside right now. Let's see. And it's too quiet. I don't think you'd be able to hear it. I'll just close the window again. Um, and it's too dark outside for me to record the rain. Otherwise, I would. But tomorrow is actually going to be fairly warm. And we're actually going to be at about... Was it 25 degrees on Saturday? Unfortunately, I'm role-playing on Saturday, so all the good weather I'm going to be in, stuck indoors. Um, in other news, i putting a call out asking if anybody has dealt with this. So a lot of my mom's things that I brought back with me are photos. I have no idea how many, because I'm terrible at estimating such things, but I'm going to guess lots. Um, hundreds, definitely. Potentially thousands of photos that I want to digitize. Uh, there is a camera store that's not too far from here. It's, it oh, knows, within walking distance of my house. And not just my definition of walking distance, but I'd say a normal person definition of walking distance, probably on the outer edge. But anyway, um, they have a photo scanning service that I thought I would try to use. They claim that they can do the photo scanning and I would get the photos back. So that's my other concern. The mail order ones frequently don't give you the photos back. But I've never used a service like this before, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Has anybody else done it? That would be good information if they had. Oh, looks like my housemate's girlfriend is leaving. Um, let's see, what else? Um... My paperwork for getting married is still not at my partner's place. It's not... Due to the Easter holiday, it's not too surprising, but it's disappointing. Because, unfortunately, apparently they've started increasing the amount of time it takes to get through all of this paperwork. So now I'm looking more at October-November time frame instead of August-September. So, for moving, that is. It's still this year. That's kind of the important part, because I lose health insurance at the end of this year. So, I want to move this year. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I have not been eating very well today. I just, I ate too much yesterday, so I'm not very hungry today. And I usually don't eat very well when that happens. Unfortunately, today, er, I don't really have a chance to cook for the rest of the week. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing for lunch tomorrow. Hmm. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, no big topics for conversation on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Talk to you later, Internet. Bye.